Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to break down how I did this animation right here. I'm gonna let it play a couple times. And it's a combination of motion graphics and 3D. I did the girl in 3D in Blender, of course. I did the motion graphics in After Effects, but I prepared them in Adobe Illustrator and I got them from FreePick. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did everything. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the animation I did. Let's go through it again. It starts off. You can see that the girl jumps in and the, the circle kind of moves back and then the graphic appears rotating. And then it just tells you this is hell science. And then the little the little inner circle appears from behind there. And then um, she kind of spins. And at the same time, the CTE logo spins in. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to show you this is the actual animation I used for the girl. And of course I did this in Blender. I'm gonna show you how I set it up here in a minute. Let's hide this. Let me go back all the way um, to Free Pick. I did a, uh, though actually the way I got the idea is I got this flyer. And as you can see, it's very, very cluttered, very unorganized. Um, but anyways, I got this flyer uh, for CTE, Career and Technical, uh, and I didn't like it. And I thought, I wonder if I could do one that's very clean. I went to FreePick and I searched Infographic. And as you can see, there is a lot of them. There's a lot of good ones. I could have easily just picked one. Any one of these would have worked. I kind of like this one because it was on a gray background. You can see it here. Also, kind of the same on a white background. Anyways, here it is. Uh, here is the actual one right there. I changed the uh, the icons and I changed obviously the the text and I got rid of this text. So I downloaded it, opened it up in Adobe Illustrator, and I changed. Like I said, I changed all the icons and I changed the text for each of the CTE categories. And then I put everything on its own layer. Very, very important to put everything on its own layer when you are going to import it into Adobe After Effects. Um, so once I have everything in, in its own layer, and that's all I did here, the graphic kind of stayed the same. In fact, the text is right there. I just hit it, put it on its own layer and then I imported it into um, After Effects. In After Effects, the text is right here and all I did was spin it from the, from the center, spin it right into position. That's it. That's all I did. Here are all of the uh, layers from Adobe Illustrator. And so that's all I did here with the Adobe Illustrator in After Effects. Let's go check out what I did in Blender. In Blender, I modeled uh, the girl, obviously. And here's the, uh, let me go ahead and get rid of this. Here's the scene, nothing too spectacular. Here's the scene. Let me see if I can turn this on. It's just a white background and some uh, lights. In fact, this one is lighting up the background. These two are the rim lights and then this is the key light. This is the fill light that I have and then the camera. That's it. That's actually the whole scene is that right there. Not a big deal. Um, all I wanted was for her to uh, just kind of jump into the scene, acknowledge the camera, smile, and then that's it. 
And then at the last uh, thing is rotate out of the way. That's all I did. Not a big deal. Uh, rendered the animation. Now let's go back into After Effects. Here in After Effects, I brought in the 3D animation. Here it is. This is the, the 3D animation. I put this circle on there. I put a white background and I faded in the uh, the animation. So she kind of elevates and then drops in, acknowledges the camera, smiles, and then she turns around and here I swap it for the letters. Boom, that's it, quickly. And that was it for the 3D stuff. And here's where I put everything together. I've got the, the names, which is this, and then I've got the, the 3D, which is this. I put it together here, and here's where I put all the sound effects. Uh, let me turn off the music, and let me hit play. That's, those are it, just the swoosh sounds. So we've got, let me go ahead and fit it to the screen. Uh, we've got the girl coming in and then zooming out and then the letters or the infographic coming from behind her, stopping right where that is. And here it is. It's, it's got a little glitch effect to just draw your eye to this category. But I've got the, uh, I've got everything here. Not a big deal. Boom. It, like I said, it the little the little um, circle comes up from behind her, and then she does the the turnaround, and then that's basically it. Let me turn on the music. Oh, I was looking at this one. Uh, so we've got the inner circle, the outer circle, the mid circle, uh, the comp one, which is the 3D, the names, which is the names. There's uh, this, there's the dark, and then all the sound effects. Um, again, oh, and, and lastly, I put the, the, the uh, career and technical education those texts that text is created here in after effects so the whole thing if i hit play and that's it guys that's the whole thing um you know that i went from inspiration which was this this was the inspiration for it um and i obviously looked online for something better which was this I then brought it into After Effects fixed it adjusted it broke it down into layers um, the 3d stuff I animated it um, set up the scene modeled the, the character rigged it animated it rendered it and then composite everything in Adobe After Effects, uh, which is my go-to. Um, I really like Adobe After Effects. That's why I haven't touched the Blender's compositing capabilities, but I know I need to get it done. I need to get myself familiarized with Blender with its compositing capabilities and do a tutorial on that. Don't worry about it, that's coming. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, how to put something together from concept to gathering everything, preparing everything and putting everything together and rendering it out. Hey guys, I know that I've been absent for a while. I've been working on my website. I'm gonna release it soon. And if you can, please hit the link in the description for you to join my newsletter. Hey guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, join the mailing list, very, very important. I'll talk about the uh, website, the mailing list, and all the courses that are coming up in a later video. For, for now, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.